Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I've got a grocery haul to share with you guys. I spent $1.50. I went to Coles, Woolies, Audi, my local green grocer and my local fish market. So where am I going to start? I might start down here. So I grabbed some salami from Coles, just a snack on. It was on sale for $29 a kilo. I just grabbed a little bunch. Little sponges, that was $2 for three. Then here, I grabbed all of this from my local green grocer, a punnet of cherry tomatoes, 500 grams for $4, great deal. Onions were $2 a kilo, so I grabbed two large ones. One large zucchini for, I think, a dollar something. It was about three fifty a kilo. I'll also go through the meal plan as well. Um, bananas were two fifty a kilo at my green grocer. Mandarins were two fifty, and the grapes were about $5 a kilo I think that was all at my green grocer. Actually, sorry, I got the capsicum for $5 a kilo and the taro was $10 a kilo at my local green grocer. These are like little baby taros. Meal prep wise, I am going to use these beef strips to do like a little stir fry. I've got some frozen green beans in the freezer. I've also got carrots and I'm probably going to toss in some onions. And I bought some stir fry sauce at Coles because it was on sale for $1.90 a pack. But I'll share that with you in a bit. And then the beef mince. It was still on sale at Coles for $9 a kilo. Normally, I get my beef mints from my local butcher because the quality is just better. But when Coles have their beef mints on sale for $9 a kilo, I tend to grab them because it's really cheap, obviously. Although it does have a lot more fat, so I'm going to have to strain some of the fat out. This will be used for a shepherd's pie. So I'll be tossing in some onions, carrots that I've got in the fridge, and some frozen peas and then I also bought a kil two kilos of potato they were on sale this week for four dollars for two kilos at Coles so that's my little shepherd pie meal prep and then I also saw this I haven't tried this before cashew and coconut curry from Patax that brand I normally like this brand I normally grab the butter chicken as you guys can see in the background this week it was on sale I think 50% off so 275 so I figured I'd grab one to make next week's meal prep and then an extra one for the stockpile and then I also grabbed this one to trial it's a new flavor and then boss coffee wasn't on sale this week but we had a rain check it was 40% off when we had that rain check so we thought we would redeem these two so it was $8.40 for a pack of four my partner I grabbed both he normally has one um, whenever he's feeling drained basically whilst working toilet paper my partner grabbed what else is I think I've covered everything here pippies I actually grabbed from my local fishmonger they were $22 a kilo I believe they were live well they're still live I've just soaked them in a bit of salt water before I prepare them and then moving up here this we actually grabbed from Woolies because I did have a look at the cereal aisle at Coles but nothing was on sale and seeing as we have a Woolies nearby we just popped by to have a look. Coca Pops, Choco, 7 essential vitamins and minerals, 25% less sugar, source of fiber. I haven't had this before, my partner hasn't had this before and because it was half price he wanted to pick it up to try. And then we got a free product from Coles, Ice Break Strong Espresso, 25 grams protein. I have tried it. As you can see, I've already opened it. It's quite tasty. And my partner received this for free in one of the flyby offers that he had. I didn't get one though. Only he had one this week. We also grabbed some little yogurts from Woolies. It was a pack of four for $3. We've already dug into that, as you can see. We grabbed yogurt, thick and creamy, and passion fruit and mango. So they come in a pack of four, guys. We've just opened it. Pringles, we've got, I think it was half price. I don't remember how much it was. My partner's got to go away for a few days for a work conference, and he just wanted to bring some snacks with him because when you get snacks at the hotel, it's very expensive. And then we also grabbed a little body wash at Audi because it's more cost effective than your Coles and Woolies, generally speaking. Popcorn was half price at Coles, so this packet was a dollar. Um, moving over here, these are the sauces that I grabbed from Coles. Black pepper, beef, and San Choy Bao. We're probably going to use one of this for the stir fry 
for the meal prep. So that's got your capsicum, green beans, carrots, onions, sauce, and beef strips. The beef strips, sorry, were on sale as well. They were ten dollars this week for five hundred grams. Shepherd's pie was a dollar eighty per pack. And then we also grabbed some donuts from Bread Top. So I think this is a custard donut and that's a custard horn, I believe. And then my partner grabbed some of this, cabanara noodles from the local Asian Greek. So he only grabbed one because he was craving it. And then he also grabbed a little roll-on. That's the only brand he pretty much likes using and it doesn't go on sale. So it's a bit of a pain. So that one's like $5.50, I believe. But that pretty much wraps up the grocery haul. The peepees, I'm probably going to do a quick little stir fry, maybe with a bit of that black pepper beef sauce. We'll see. I'll film everything for you guys to follow along, though. So if you're interested in the meal prepping and cooking side of things, stay tuned. It'll be included in the next clip. So with the peepees, guys, I like to soak them in salted water for about 30 minutes just to help it spit out the sand before I start cooking it. So for one of the portions, I just cooked it and added in some of that black pepper sauce and kind of stir fried that through and it worked out really really well super delicious i'll be making this one again as it was really really easy and really really tasty with the second batch i kind of did the same thing so basically i popped the pippies in popped the lid on um, when they're cooked they'll pop open as you guys can see there sometimes i'll add in maybe three tablespoons of water just to help it steam once it's pretty much cooked i added my chopped salami chunks as you can see there Chuck it in a bowl and squeeze some fresh lemon juice on top. It was so good. Meal prep wise, I've got some carrots, capsicum, frozen green beans, and I'm going to use up the rest of the black pepper sauce for my beef strip stir fry. I love making this. If you're a regular on my channel, you'd see this quite often because it's quick, simple, and easy and extremely microwave friendly. So I normally just chuck this in the fridge and then during the week, I'll either steam fresh rice or I'll cook it in bulk and put it in the fridge. That way, when you come home, tired from work, all you got to do is chuck it in the microwave. If you prefer making your meals from scratch every day, this is also a really good option because as you can see, it's very quick and easy. Just got to chop some things up and chuck it in the pot. Now, this was included in my grocery budget, but I didn't film it for you guys in the haul because I forgot it. But these are pretty much just fresh rice paper rolls, I believe. They come in little rolls, but as you can see, I kind of open it up so it's like a nice thin sheet and then i've just got two eggs that i'm going to whisk up and then i'm going to add in some frozen spring onions as you can see there then i just pour it on top then pop the lid on so it all steams together later on i do make a few layers though so adding on the rice paper rolls then i've added on some chow seal pork that i got from my local asian shop you can add in any protein you want you can add in prawns or chicken or whatever tickles your fancy then at the end i've just put on a really nice abc glaze so it's like a little bottle that you can get at Coles and then I also made a little sweet soy sauce to add on top. So this is one of my meal preps for the week so I've got a lot of potatoes that I'm peeling and I've got it boiling in a separate pot. In this pot in this clip that I'm showing you guys I've just got a few carrots and onions that I've chopped up and I'm just cooking that through with a bit of water. I prefer sauteing with water instead of oil especially when I'm working with minced meat because the beef mince at Coles and Woolies is quite fatty, so I try to avoid adding more fats and oils in. So once I've cooked the veggies and the meat, I start adding in the shepherd's pie seasoning. Yes, I do realise because I am using beef mince, it's actually a cottage pie, but I've gotten into the habit of just always calling it a shepherd's pie. So basically I've mixed that all together. If you want it thicker, add less water. If you want it thinner, add more water. There are instructions at the back of the shepherd's pie seasoning packet as well. I love having this in winter. It's just so comforting to have mashed potato and the shepherd's pie mix. 